Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Marvin's Mod. Now, when we last left off, we had secured ourselves the lighter. And you know what that means? We need to go find ourselves some rather large, juicy gems. So, let's go do just that. Unfortunately, we've got this big old knobhead there who's going to really kind of try his best to get in our way. But we're not going to let him, because... He's, I don't know, probably a nonce or something. Anyway, let's go and grab this gem. Which, funny enough, um, you know, Chris, uh, not Chris, Leon and Claire are going to have to come back later and uh, do this puzzle again. I don't know who resets all these puzzles. Maybe Chief Irons is running around behind the scenes, resetting all of his beloved traps and whatnot makes sense right i could see that somebody should make that a mod you have to play as chief irons whilst you run around the rpd resetting all of the traps and hunting everybody down oh there's an idea there is an idea indeed i'd play that hell i'd play anything resident evil so i mean i played resident evil 6 for christ's sake if i could play that i'll play anything we did actually uh, start playing that with a friend. I think it was last year or the year before. I think we went all the way through Resident Evil 5. And um, then he wanted to do Resident Evil 6 co-op. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, dude, have you ever played this before? And he's like, no. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> sure. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll play it because, all right. And, uh... Yeah, we, we didn't get very far in it before he was like, yeah, this is just shit. And I'm like, well, I mean, <sighs> yeah. I don't know why the knife is not connecting there at all. Still, we're going to drop his ass. One more. Light him up. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing if they're going to do any mods like this for the remakes. Because I think there's a lot that could be done for them there are remakes. Unfortunately, we got a bit of a slow burn friend over there. You coming, son? I don't really want to have to fight you because, I'll be honest, I don't really see the need to fight you. So we're going to hide in this corner. Uh, we are going to reload our gun and just wait in the corner with a knife. Like a, I don't know, like Jack the Ripper or something. Although instead of ladies of ill repute, we're murdering police officers. But police officers that are now zombies, of course. It's very important to make that distinction, you understand. Okay. Now, if we come all the way over here, we'll find that it's been boarded up. Well, maybe not boarded up, but it has been secured. But there is a nice, juicy green herb for us. And we know how popular green herbs are, of course, in Raccoon City. They're very popular. Okay. Almost as popular as green herbs are in Red Ruth and Cambourne in Cornwall. That's a very local joke. No one's going to get. Except that guy. Now, we have another diary here. If anybody would like to read it. But of course, this is Elliot's diary. We saw um, Elliot and David. But of course, I've already read these diaries and, uh, you know, so many hundreds of thousands of times. I don't even think there's any need or any point in grabbing them, to be honest. I mean, I find it hard to believe that anyone would be playing this that isn't, you know, instinctively uh, familiar with Resident Evil 2. You've got that shit burned into your brain. I mean, if you are starting off with this and you haven't played the original Resident Evil 2, hats off to you, because it's, you know, it's not a terrible place to start, is it? This is, after all, one could say, the beginning. Or at least as close to the beginning as you can get that isn't Resident Evil 0 and 1. Okay. We're going to leave our friend there to just 
chill. He's fine. He's no harm to anyone. Okay. Now. Let's go back to where our friend was hiding. Taking a bit of a breather. Oh, shock, right? He has now become one of the walking dead. The very enemy he tried to protect his friends from. Uh, that's not going to work very well. <laughs> he got a bit legless, didn't he? <laughs> I'm here all week, folks. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know how I blew his legs off the pistol, but... Uh, I mean, I'm glad I did. Semi-automatic, one of a thousand. It's a very rare gun. Anyway, we have a shotgun now, which we are absolutely going to make use of. Okay. Okay, he's over there. Oh, he's got a, he's had his can of monster today. He's, he's fired up. He's moving. He's on a mission to eat some ass. It's just a shame that uh, he wants to eat our ass, really. I mean, maybe in better circumstances. Could have been a good time, but not now. Right, let's go. I mean, I'm not going to judge what Marvin does in his free time. Okay. Ooh. So we don't need the, sh the lighter for a while. Uh, we we'll hold on to the herb and we'll hold on to the shotty as well. Shot is one of those things early on. You know, you don't need it until you need it. When you need it, you need it. And if you need it and you don't have it, well. <laughs> We know how that ends. So. Boop. Kind of tempted to suck down that um, green there, to be honest. But we won't. We'll save it. We'll save it until later. Hopefully we can combine it with a red. Anyway, that gives us the stars key. So, points for guessing where we're heading next. If you guess the stars room, you'd be right. Yeah, so we can't actually use this door locked from the inside. Obviously, that door's off to Chief Irons' uh, little room and all of that good stuff. Now, we don't have a helicopter-sized key at the moment, and uh, we don't get one. So we'll leave that for Leon and Claire a little bit later on. But what we can do is go pay a visit to the stars. Now, this some of the, the puzzles in this game really are sort of like moon logic. And not moon logic, that's the wrong term, but it's a very much a case of, you know, kitchens in the attic, pans are in the basement sort of thing. Anyway. We've got dogs. We don't like dogs. We're not these kind of dogs anyway, but we're going to just slowly creep past them. Although we did aggro that one right at the end. But that's fine. He can stay mad. Because, because that's life, you know? Wait a minute. There should not be... Is there zombies respawned here? I mean, that certainly seems to be what's going on. Not a fan of that. Ooh. You know what? Ooh, dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um. Nukem Rico. Ooh. Was it worth it? Was it worth one shotgun shell and a handful of pistol rounds? No. No, it wasn't. But we did it. So, whatever. Unfortunately, that pales in comparison to what's going to be in this room. Oh, I. Oh, I. 
luckily, I don't think we have anything at the end of the hall there. So, whew, we're just gonna we'll pretend we didn't see nothing. Like when your neighbors were, you know, having a party during COVID. They didn't see nothing. None of my business. Okay, so we've got the main entrance key. Nice, we'll have that. There's a picture of a young man. There's a good chance it's her boyfriend. Yes, maybe. Um, we got some bullets here. There isn't a lot here, to be honest. Way less in here than you would think or want, for that matter. Marksman contest winner, Chris Redfield. Uh, we can get the uh, the film here if we repeatedly search the desk. Interestingly enough, though, um, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the last episode, but interestingly enough, we don't actually get the film that we need to develop. If we keep searching this, we just straight up get the develop file, which uh, is interesting, actually. Um, I don't know whether... That was done because in one version of this game, that's how it was. Uh, or whether the um, mod developer actually decided to change that. Who knows? Maybe we'll never know. But well, maybe I'll never know. Maybe you do know. And you can let me know in the comments below. But what I do know is this takes one too many searches. I am wasting your time and mine. So, recruit. And there she is, Rebecca Chambers. <laughs> who is uh, the chief engineer of the team and medic. I mean, she's widely known as the medic, but we all know that she also does the maintenance uh, on the STARS team helicopters, which, okay, <laughs> sure, why not, right? Anyway, we have the main entrance key, which unlocks the main entrance. Now, I can't remember if this is infested with dogs again. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, which means we're going to have to be a little bit careful. I guess we could run through. Yep, the dogs are still here. All right, that's fine. There's an oh, actually, uh, yep, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Fuck you, Fido. Kiss my chocolate ass. Listen up, everyone. Help's on the way. Get to the front lobby. So this is where the plot thickens. Help is on the way. We need to get to the lobby. Um, I don't know how we know that help is on the way. We need to get to the front lobby. I think there was a cutscene there that didn't play. Curious. There's supposed to be a cutscene, I think, where... Um, Rita is... Oh no, here it is. This is the cutscene. I was going to say, that confused me. Marvin! Marvin! Hey, you made it! Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm headed your way now. I'll pull the truck up to the front gate to get everyone together there. I won't be able to keep that position long, so hurry up, okay? I'll contact you again later. All right, be careful. I hope that was a zombie. Hey, look who's here, Kevin. And by the way, they've done a fantastic job with Kevin's model. It's good to see you're still among the living, Marvin. Yeah, you too, Kevin. I came here as soon as I heard your message. I didn't think you'd still be here at the station. It's the safest place to be during the storm. But now we have another problem. What is it? Go and speak with Rita, she'll explain. I. Will you take the precinct key? Yes, we will take the precinct key. That is the heart key. That leads us to underground. We don't like going underground. Rita, you did it. Now we can finally escape. I'm sorry, Marvin, but the truck 
took some damage getting here. Can we still use it to escape? We'll need to find oil, a fuse, and a wire. Then we can repair the engine and escape. All right, I'll start searching for those items. I'll help Elliot and search for more survivors. I'll meet you up. I'll meet up with you later on. Yeah. So uh, when they say that we need to look for those, they really do mean it. We, me, myself, and I. Because of course. That key should help you search, sir. Wait a minute. Where's David? He. He didn't make it. God damn it. I'm going to continue to search for survivors. Alright, good luck, Elliot. Yeah, you too, Marvin. Oh, we don't need luck. We have uh, ink ribbons. So now... We can go... What we got in the shotty for? That's fine. Now... We need to go back to where we started. We have the heart key. Which... Yeah, so we need to go... Ugh. We can go through... Ah, no, we can't go through there, can we? Wait a minute. Um... No, we can't. We need to go up this way. I was going to say, I came down with a case of madness there for a second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I actually thought there was um, enemies in this room, but I guess not quite yet. Now, uh, you know, we could jiggle our junk around just a little bit. We probably don't need that. We probably will need it, just not yet. Uh, do we want to take the shelves with us? Uh, nah, it's fine. I mean, we'll just top off the shotgun, I think. I mean, where we're heading is pretty, pretty bad, <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, to save or not to save? Uh, you know what? We are going to, we'll give it a save. Sure. I think we're probably going to be okay, but you know, what did Desert Strike teach us? Don't take chances. And we do... One thing this mod does have is absolutely plenty of ink ribbons. I think it's like eight or maybe ten that we find throughout the game. Or throughout the mod, I should say. Now, where are we going to find our items? Well, we're going to find them in the basement. But they're going to be scattered around all over the place because, I mean, <laughs> of course they are. Uh, we got some more brain munchers in here. We're gonna drop this guy. Probably don't need to drop any of the other ones. He's dead. So let's just go reset this zombie. Jeez, I don't know you're being awfully stingy with the enemies you kill. Well, yes, but <sighs> there's plenty of enemies left to kill. And while I think there may be enough ammo to kill all the enemies in the game, I don't know for 100% certainty that there is. Anyway. We definitely do need to clean out this room a little bit. Ah, shit. That's fine. Might not have to kill every zombie in here, but we certainly want to thin the herd. Probably drop him. What does that leave us with? He's dead. We do not need to check the bullets. Uh, does that leave two? 
Yeah, there's still two in here. Um, two should be okay. Hmm, two should be okay. Uh, we can always, uh, how do we say? You know what, we'll drop this guy. He's getting in the way. I was going to say, we could always um, <clears throat> adjust the population later on, but... Is he dead? Three bullets? Okay. Yeah, he's dead. That was what... Wait. Nope, he's definitely dead. That was worth it. Okay. Let's go to the outside underground area. I'm going to grab a herb. And unfortunately, this place is full of dogs. Um... Oof. That's a big oof. I would rather... Not have to fight the dogs, I'll be honest. Or if I am going to fight the dogs, I'd rather take them at this area. Anyway, let's head into the keeper's room. Oof, we're on bad caution. I just really wish we'd stop accidentally doing that. Anyway. So, nothing unusual. Don't think we can search any of these lockers. Lockers are... Ooh, we can. I did not find that before. Extra few handgun rounds. Yes, please. Uh, we also have the Night Watchman's Diary, which, as we all know, is fantastic. So I'm going to scroll through it, just if any of you guys do fancy reading. It is legendary. That The Night Keeper's Diary, is, or the Night Watchman's Diary, is definitely up there with Itchy Tasty, for sure. Okay. Harry, you're alive. Yeah, I've just been hiding away in here. You did what you had to do to survive. Me and some other survivors have a plan. A, a plan? What is it, Marvin? Make your way to the RPD front gate. There's a truck we can use to escape. Okay, I'll head over there now. I need to find some parts to fix it first. So wait at the truck until I get back. Okay, good luck, Marvin. Yeah, we're going to need it. Probably. Well, I'm sure Marvin gets out of here just fine. I'm sure. Oh, dear. Let's just shoot him out of the way. <laughs> For now. We can worry about the details a little bit later on. All right. We've got zombies. Oof. Good night. Let's thin these guys out. Yeah, we don't want to be checking the ammo. Oh, we've got another one down here. Let's drop his ass. He's not dead. That's fine. Well, I mean, we probably saved one handgun bullet by doing that. Let's drop this. Oh, God, we're getting some lucky crits with this. Some very lucky crits. Let's go take this guy out. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, I think on my last run, uh, I critted, like, literally a handful of zombies, but we're critting, like... I don't know. What's that? Five now? Because we blew David's legs off. I think it was David. Uh, right. So, let's go turn the power supply on. Up. Pretty sure it's up. Down. Up. Down. And then up, I believe. Yep. Yeah. Same as it was in the original. And that allows us to get into the weapons room. The armory. We like the armory. It's a good time in the armory. 
I don't actually think there's anything else in here. There's no bullets or anything. Whereas I'm pretty sure there was a herb in here and or possibly shotgun shells in the actual Resident Evil 2. I also want to start looking for a save point because... Ooh, the autopsy room. Yes. This room's spicy because we're almost on half an hour. So we're going to grab up the precinct key and then we're going to run like a mofo. <laughs> yeah, we don't want none of that. No thanks. <sighs> anyway. Um. Yep. Can we use... Thank you. Let's go into the ammo storage. And grab some juicy, juicy meatballs. So we've got some handgun rounds. Very nice. There's actually more handgun ammo in this than I remember. Or at least more than I thought. But there's also this spicy mofo right there. The Magnum. Oh yes. I should probably leave some supplies for other survivors. Well Marvin, you're a good man. But kind of would rather you just pocketed everything. Anywho. So we now have the precinct key, which means we can get out of here. At least I think we can get out of here. Um, oh, there is another herb. I think this way. Ah, right, yes, 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 yes. yes. We do need the key for that. All right, that's fine. Now, I think we might have a dog situation up here. Which I don't really like the thought of. Yeah, we do. Right. Yeah. This is going to be rough. That's fine. You know what? We can handle that. Blew his head off. Oh, we're in the bad state now, aren't we? It's fine. What's the worst that could possibly happen to dear old Marvin here? You know, apart from being horribly ripped apart and nasty death. You know. Yep. We got zombies, but... But it's okay. Ah, we need the lighter. So we've actually got to go to a save room now anyway, so that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go to save room, we're going to go heal up, and we're going to call it a video there, guys. We desperately need to heal. <laughs> oh, Marvin. What have they done to you, my boy? Well, i got news for you, Marv. <sighs> I hate to say it. But it ain't gonna get any better. In fact, I think you can comfortably say it goes downhill from here. Okay. Right, have we got a super herb? We can drop the shotgun shells. We've got a reasonable amount of those now. Uh, we do need the lighter. Wow. Where's all the damn red herbs? Uh, I guess we're going to have to use an F8 spray, which is fine. That's what they're there for at the end of the day. And then we're going to go save it. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And when we come back, well, we've got some puzzles to do. And we're not done with the basement yet. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're not done with the basement yet. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.